Well, Anderson, we're in a parking garage, which is a very good place to be because outside there right now is really a living hell. It's getting more dangerous, more hazardous. I hear things crashing to the ground, but there's no way for us to know what it is because it's just so dark outside right now. And there's a parking lot right under us. We're in the third story of a parking garage right at the beach in Galveston. It is starting to flood, and the floodwaters are coming from this direction. That's where the Galveston Bay is. I don't know for sure if it's flooding from the bay, but it's the first time we've seen floodwaters roiling down this parking lot. Farther in the distance where you see the waves, that is the Gulf of Mexico, and that is where Hurricane Ike is coming. Its eye will come here within the next couple of hours, but right now this is the eye wall, the most dangerous part of the hurricane. The street there is called Seawall Boulevard, but Seawall Boulevard is no more. It has disappeared. It is underwater. Last night at the time I was talking to you, Anderson, we saw 75 to 100 yards of beachfront. That sand has been gone all day. The rain has been torrential now for about seven hours. The winds have been tropical storm force for about 11 hours, hurricane force for about three hours. We've had gusts of over 95 miles per hour. I'm gonna stick my microphone out here so you can just listen for a second. I don't know how much you can hear there, but it's just incredible. It sounds like a perpetual freight train rolling down the streets here in Galveston, Texas. Last night, the National Weather Service said that anyone who's in a one or two story, one family house on the beach must evacuate or will face certain death. We don't know if that's the case, but all we're thinking about right now are people who didn't evacuate and who may be in those small houses near the beach. Anderson.